Привет! Hello, this is Binkov's news flash for 1st of March 2018. On that day, Russian government disclosed several new missile weapon systems during an annual State of Union address. A MiG-31 interceptor was shown carrying a large missile, then firing it. The CG simulation then showed it in attack mission. A ship was shown as a target, and the missile flew down while still away from the ship. At one point, the trajectory of the missile changed, suggesting a separately powered first stage warhead. The shape of the missile also supports that theory, as its frontal part has a lot in common with two-staged missiles. The missile was sighted to have a range of 2000 kilometers, and its speed is Mach 10. It is likely the mentioned speed is achieved during the ballistic portion of the flight, with the second stage warhead flying at somewhat lower speeds. The range is perhaps what's most peculiar, as it is well above targeting distances, suggesting the weapon will be guided either by satellites or that its purpose is to be easily concentrated by distant launch platforms against enemy using conventional aircraft targeting. Previous Russian air-launched missiles had shorter range, especially models using high-speed attack. It seems the weapon was made to stretch the anti-ballistic capabilities of ships and probably fixed land targets to their limits. Another weapon system mentioned was Avangard. It's a high-velocity glider warhead meant for large ballistic missiles. Its existence was known before as it was tested, but now the claim was made the weapon has entered serial batch production. If so, it would suggest active service could come within a year or two. It was shown gliding for thousands of kilometers, changing altitude and moving thousands of kilometers laterally, evading possible threat zones. When fielded in numbers, such warheads will also test the strategic anti-ballistic systems to their fullest. Lastly, the address claimed a nuclear-powered cruise missile demonstrator was tested at the end of 2017. And with the success of the test, the doors were opened to start further development of that technology into operational missiles. Sized like today's missiles, but with a range increase of a few dozen times. Essentially unlimited range. The demo video in the address showed the missile flying all over the planet, using least monitored routes and evading possible defenses. In all likelihood, the missile should contain a ramjet engine, with the nuclear reactor heating up the air instead of a combustion engine. Such technology was trialed by US in Project Pluto in 1960s, but the project was deemed not prospective back then. While this project seems least ready and various difficulties may arise in its development, if such a missile does see the light of the day, it would greatly complicate defenses as it could come from literally any direction at any time. Time will tell if all three of these will see successful active service, and how will the US respond?